So my own name is John Crotty. I'm the island manager here at Spike Island Cork. I've been island manager since June 2016, uh, just as the construction works was completed on the project. Uh, at the time, Cork County Council spent 6.5 million in conjunction with Forge Ireland, uh, developing the site from what was essentially an abandoned prison to the current site that you see here today, an award being an attraction. Uh, about 6.5 million has been spent to date, and there are plans to spend another 6.5 million on phase two of the project. Uh, that would include opening up currently off-limits areas, uh, that would include adding a visitor centre down on the entry to the island and a new ticket office in Cove as well. So there's massive potential for the site, while a lot has been done, there's still a lot left to do and we actually believe it's going to take as long as 20 years and a total of 40 million to completely redevelop the site and get it back to where we want it to be. So the project here really is to get back online a really fascinating uh, area of Ireland's history. Uh, we've got military history, we've got penal history, we've got social history and we want to redevelop this site to tell all those different stories to international and local visitors alike. Uh, now my role in that is running the island on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I manage the tour side of it but I also manage the maintenance of the island. So it's that wider aspect of being able to make sure visitors that come are safe, that they have a really enjoyable experience. It's about developing that experience so that it's not the same every year, that we're adding new attractions, that we're adding new elements to it, and also looking after all the staff and the 60-odd uh, tour guides, maintenance, admin team, and office team that we have as well on site. So really it's the all-round, I suppose, aspect of liaising with the uh, ferry company, just ensuring all different jobs are done day-to-day, -day, but long-term we're developing the site to get bigger and better every year. In 2017, the island was nominated for and actually won the title of Europe's leading tourist attraction at the World Travel Awards in 2017, uh, held in St. Petersburg in Russia. Uh, we were delighted to win an award so early after we opened. It was our first full calendar year of being open. So to get such an international award was fantastic. And we were actually nominated for the same award again in 2019, making the final seven shortlist. Uh, I would say that I feel everybody here at Spike Island works very hard to really contribute to the fabric of Irish history and society. Uh, I do hope that we continue to see support from the likes of Falls Ireland and from Cork County Council as we continue to develop the site. Uh, we've only redeveloped at this point about 50 or 60 percent of the available buildings and the available space so there's incredible potential here to keep on expanding this and make it one of the most visited and interesting sites in the whole of the country if not in the whole of the world. Uh, we've actually gone from, in 2016 when we opened, we did 27,000 visitors, we did 44,000 the following year, 2018, and we're heading for, in about 2019, about 80,000 visitors. So we are seeing continuous growth. Uh, we've actually tripled our numbers in the last three years, and we'd like to think in 2020, 2021, we can go to 100,000 visitors. Uh, there's only about 34 sites in the whole of Ireland getting more than 100,000 visitors a year. So it'll be a great benchmark to get to, and we want to see how far we can continue after that.